Hey everybody, this is a quick video on rendering settings and uh, some of the friends of mine that are getting acquainted to this program always make the same mistake and I wanted to address that here on this video. Uh, one of the things is uh, people uh, that are new to this program tend to want to render in a 3D view and the 3D view uh, is really not your optimum uh, view for rendering it's actually uh, just for your modeling purposes generally. Uh, your rendering view is, comes really from your camera view and um, for those who um, don't know where the camera view is it's in the view tab and if you go to um, the little house up here that has 3D view just uh, select that and there's a camera view and you generally want to be in some type of floor plan um, uh, or a plan view shall I say and then select that camera by uh, just um, grabbing that camera and dragging it across like that and most of you guys can figure out how to do that pretty easily I already have a view set up so I just wanted to uh, show you this view this little simple house that I drew for this video and I have some some trees and some plants in the front of this um, house and one thing before you before you render it uh, I highly recommend that you, uh, especially for the, um, the latest versions of Autodesk, uh, Revit, you can use uh, Realistic View. And when I turn on Realistic View, you can see right here, I'll put it on for you, um, it gives you a, a realistic view. And, but the good thing about it is, is these, um, they're not really 3D plants, they're just basically uh, something in between a 3D view and a picture. Um, they're, they're the plants that come with the out of the box Revit you can see these really well how they appear to be on your um, on your uh, rendering uh, before you render and that most of the time when I spend a lot of time on preparing a rendering it's two things one it's lighting you're always tweaking the lighting and the other thing is you're always tweaking the uh, shrubbery or plant location uh, it's probably 80% of the time that I spend on uh, tweaking a rendering, tweaking meaning uh, render and draft view and then re-render it to see what it looks like and then re-render and maybe a medium view and see what it looks like then. But this, this little tool right here when you go into realistic view saves a ton of time. But uh, I also wanted to talk to you about um, uh, when you guys have your renderings in this, uh, you you probably want to print it. Uh, it looks great on the screen and you don't have to uh, really do much when you're showing your client on a uh, LCD screen or a, a, a laptop or something but if you want to print it there's some other settings that you need to know and um, I usually do my rendering prints in just 11 by 17 and I use laser um, color. I don't have a laser color machine so I just go to Kinko's or Staples and it costs a couple dollars to um, print it in photo paper which really looks good uh, as long as your quality of your rendering is is to par and that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, over here on the rendering dialog box um, that I brought up uh, and you know that's really simple to get to you just press the little teapot over here for render. Uh, you have a couple uh, uh, settings here under quality. Uh, if you just look right here on the on the uh, right here, it says settings, and there's draft. Um, draft is probably the fastest way to render something to see your results, but you don't want to show that to your client because it's not going to look that good. Uh, then there's a low, medium, high, best, custom, and edit, and um, basically your custom is basically driven by your edit. Uh, when you edit one of these. Uh, um, uh, well, before I get into that, here is another button right here. It says screen and printer. And basically screen is going to render what is on your screen. So if I wanted this picture to actually appear bigger on my screen, I would actually t technically just make it, uh, just make it bigger, uh, just like that. And it's going to take a little bit longer to render and uh, it's going to look have a little more detail but it's only going to be for your screen I don't recommend that you uh, print a screen uh, view so if I were to render this um, I probably don't want to print it 
what you want to print is uh, you want to come down to this tab over here uh, not a tab but the button and you want to press printer and then it automatically starts off with your DPI and DPI is your droplets per inch and that's basically tells you the size and the quality uh, of your not necessarily the quality but if you're going to put it in 11 by 17 you probably want to go right around that. Uh, I, I always do 300. You, you might get away with 150, but uh, the thing is, is um, 300 is actually going to give you a pretty large print. So when you do print it 11 by 17, you're not going to get any pixelation or distortion uh, by using 300 DPI. And 600 is if you just really need a really large print and uh, you want to uh, uh, use that, take quite a bit longer. But what really changes um, you can you can select 300 and then right here is where you want to select the quality and uh, let's just say I pick high not best but high and uh, if I select high and uh, it's going to at 300 dpi it's going to be pretty sufficient for 11 by 17 print there's uh, another option here is edit and this brings up this dialog box right here and it's called the render quality settings and a lot of people don't use this but I've lately been using it quite a lot and under settings if I were to select draft you'll see that these numbers right here actually fall down in in value uh, there's quite a few settings and uh, I don't mess with too many of the other settings I basically just um, concentrate right here and this is kind of like a little before and a little bit after based on your setting so um, I always select I try to select um, at least high and then from there based on what type of um, output I want from the quality I uh, copy to custom and that will allow me to start to change this these settings but let me warn you you start putting up all these settings uh, it's going to take a long time to render and I'm using actually a, a six core processor and if I bump those settings up it, it takes quite a bit based on uh, or depending on your on your uh, on the, the what you have in your rendering also makes a big difference you know if there's a lot of reflections or if there's a lot of a lot of complicated uh, uh, things that your computer has to think it through to render but uh, this is what I wanted to show you right here if I bump this up just a little bit go to 7 actually turn from 6 to 7 or maybe to 8 uh, just by sliding this slider over and sometimes I even use 9 or even 10 which would be all the way uh, just to get a little bit better rendering because uh, I, I selected high but not best um, if I were to go to and it actually uh, is not going to bother any of these other settings it's just basically going to uh, change this, uh, which gives you, in my opinion, after doing uh, some some experimentation, I really like the results by bumping this up a little bit. So, um, how do I get to this dialog box one more time? I just go down to uh, edit. You don't have to actually select any of these. You can actually do it from right here. You can actually start with draft, and that'll tell you what settings are in your draft mode out of the box and uh, you can go to medium and play with this stuff by just copy to custom and it's going to allow you to start to manipulate these sliders uh, if you want a, a little bit better you'll see these numbers grow as you continue to go from high to or from low to high and uh, and right now at high um, the image precision is at six and that's good it's good it's not, not bad but um, if you want to uh, just increase it just a little bit one number can make a big difference um, and I usually bring this up just a little bit and uh, I will get my uh, my rendering quality to be a little bit better so that's what I wanted to uh, uh, point out to you guys today is um, about rendering uh, tips uh, printer versus screen um, DPI's uh, versus the size of the paper that you're going to use and uh, the render quality settings to bump up uh, a little bit better results and try this out I've actually gotten some uh,
pretty extraordinary results out of it. Thanks a lot.